Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here as part of the Wild Bunch design team on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts. For those who don't know, Wild Orchid Crafts carries beautiful flowers, embellishments, trims, fabric tapes, metals, charms, flat back pearls, all kinds of good things. So go check it out. I'll put the link down below for you. And just so you know, um, Wild Orchid Crafts is closed for the month of December, so you'd need to check back in January. But have a look anyway now because you, you might want to just start adding things in your cart so they'll be ready. Um, so for this project, I wanted to create something for the holidays. As I've mentioned before, I um, like to have something on my table. And so I was trying to think of what I was going to put there and came up with this project. Before I show you the project, though, I'd like to show you the items that I've used. And believe me, there's a ton. So bear with me. I'm just going to go through them as fast as I can, and then I'll show you what I've created. Um, these are 12 uh, Red Spiral Stamen MKX572. And they're in no particular order. It's just what I've used in the project. So um, these are Cream Hip Rose Buzz Buds GST022. These are Foundation White Blooms, MKX177. These are the Carnation Flowers in um, Cream and White, MKX105. I've used these um, Pearl Sprays, which are MKX624. Now I'll have to show you how I use those in a while. Um, I use the Large Red Poinsettias GST082. I use the Green Holly Leaves MKX444. The Cherry Blossoms in Deep Red MKX046. The Flatback Flowers GST167 and 15mm. Those are lovely. Uh, the Self-Adhesive Pearls and Christmas Colors, MKX495. The Small Red Poinsettias, MKX653. The other poinsettias that are large, and those are 60mm um, MKX223. Very pretty. I told you there was a lot of stuff, so <laughs> I wasn't kidding. The bead sprays, berry spray clusters, GST152. Those are lovely. The Sweetheart Blossoms, MKX336 in white. The Flatback Ivory Pearl String, 4mm, MKX535. The Cosmo Daisies MKX125 Brown and White Combo. <laughs> the Deep Ivory Cherry Blossoms MKX055. I know it's a lot, y'all. <laughs> um, the Heather Stem Flowers um, MKX379. I have about four more to go. Uh, the 20 Mixed Christmas Color Carnations, MKX332. The Wild Roses in 30mm QVR015. And lastly, then I can show you my project. <laughs> it would be the uh, Mixed Red Tone Open Roses, MKX067 in 20mm. So yes, I did use all of those items on this project. And believe it or not, I was even I was even astounded. And, and quite frankly, I didn't use a whole bunch of them, but I've used all of them. So without further ado, here is my project for this month. And this is my table setting. I am so in love with this. I think it's very cute for my table. And um, I just love it. Um, these two pieces, the sleigh and the reindeer, came from the dollar store. And um, as you can see, I adorned it with um, the reindeer. I put one of the pearl adhesives on his nose, so he's Rudy the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And I used poinsettias and holly leaves for his around his neck with some red ribbon. I used the flatback pearls as the lanyard to connect him to the sleigh, and then those beautiful flower uh, flatback pearls trim here. 
And then um, on the sleigh, I used a compilation of all those things I showed you. There's just so many. Whoops, he just knocked over the reindeer. There's just so many flowers mixed up in there. There's berries and there's um, cherry blossoms and roses and the heather and the spiral thing and the berry clusters and the carnations. And there's just so many in that little cluster. And I repeated that on the other side as well. And then for the inside there, I took... Um, I got this giganormous, and when I say giganormous, I mean it. It's a here, I'll kind of run it by the screen. This is how big it is. It was a gift bag from the 99 cent store, like a Santa sack. And I took the top edge here that you see where the drawstring was, and I just cut out those and then glued them down and made some little bags to put inside of there with goodies inside. So that's how I created that part, and I think it came out really, really cute. And I also used um, this. Uh, Tattered Angels Glimmer Glam um, on top of all the floral things to give them a little bit of sparkle and cluster and prettiness. And then um, let me push this back just a little bit. I'm going to bring the tree forward so you can see this tree. Let me, whoop, I keep knocking over my little Rudy. Um, this tree, it actually, I'm going to try to move it back just a little bit. Um, it starts off up here with these beautiful flowers and then as you can see I've layered all the different elements that I showed you into this piece here and I used a, a white cone underneath and then I just stuck all the flowers on some I folded over like the bottom there there's the red poinsettias the big ones I folded those in half and then put them on there same with the white um, foundation blooms and then the holly leaves are along the bottom there at the bottom just to give it a nice base so as you can see there's all these different beautiful wild orchid craft flowers and then all of these little pearls that you see scattered around that's what came from these and all I did was I just cut off this much of one piece let's see right there this much and then I stuck the stem part into the foam and that's how I got the pearls all scattered around like that so there you have it. There's my beautiful little table setting. I really like it. And Rudy doesn't want to stand up on this cotton. He's not liking it too much. <laughs> he wants no. <laughs> so anyway, um, there's my beautiful little project for my Christmas table, if I can get it to stand back up again. And I hope you enjoy this. I'll put a list of everything I use down below. Thank you for your comments, for subscribing, and visiting Wild Orchid Crafts. I wish you all a happy holiday, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.